If you were to look at the bones in the legs of dogs and cats, you'd realize they are the same bones as are present in human arms and legs. There are two notable distinctions, however. First is, over time, from ancestral carnivores which walked more flat-footed, so in human terms, walking so that the palm touches uh, the ground, as does the heel. Um, members of both suborders, the cat suborder and the dog suborder, evolved a digitigrade uh, form of locomotion in which only the tips of the digits touch the ground and that the ankles and wrist joints then are higher off the ground and do not touch. So that would be one difference. A second difference is that in both cats and dogs, um, a digit was reduced or lost. And so when we look at the footprints of cats and dogs, we see four imprints of digits for both the front and hind legs. We only see four digits. That is because either one digit has been lost from the five uh, fingered and five toed ancestors, or one digit is reduced and does not touch the ground. So dogs and cats are often uh, said to have a dew claw. Uh, this uh, claw is one of the five digits, but it is so reduced it is no longer evident in the footprint. While cat and dog prints both possess only four digits, they also have differences. Cat prints tend to be wider. The width is as great as the length may be greater, while dog footprints tend to be longer than wide. Cats typically lack claw marks because their claws are retracted while walking, while we see claw marks in dog footprints, uh, perhaps except for gray foxes, which can also partially retract their claws. Unlike dogs, cat footprints show two lobes in the front of the heel pad on both the front and hind legs, and the back of the heel pad has three prominent lobes. Uh, in dogs, uh, we do not see two lobes in front, and if there are three lobes in back, as in coyotes, uh, the lobes are small. If you were to compare the prints of dogs, such as a domestic dog, a coyote, a red fox, and a gray fox, you would notice that there are four toe pads uh, on both the front and the hind legs. Uh, there are heel pads. This is where the metacarpals and the metatarsals touch the ground, not the wrist or ankle area, which are higher on the foot, given that they are walking in a digitigrade uh, fashion. Um, there uh, is a fifth digit, the quote, quote, dew claw, which doesn't touch the ground and it can be absent on the hind limbs. While these dog prints are similar, there are also some differences, such as size. The coyote print may be three inches, while that of the red fox, two to two and a half inches, and the gray fox, under two inches. In coyotes and domestic dogs, the side digits uh, overlap the plane of the middle digits. And so notice the pink line. It cannot fit between the front two digits and the lateral two uh, digits uh, without crossing through the lateral two digits. In contrast, in foxes, the two middle digits are farther forward, and that pink line can fit in the space between uh, the two middle digits in front and the two lateral digits uh, behind. Also, one can notice a small middle lobe on the back of the heel pad of coyotes, and gray foxes may partially retract their claws, and in fine mud, one might see the hairs evident on the hairy footprints of uh, gray foxes. The best way to distinguish between the footprints of, say, a puma, a bobcat, and a domestic cat would be that of size. A puma print could be four inches wide, that of a bobcat, uh, one and a half to two inches wide, while a domestic cat can be about an inch in width. All of these cats have four toe pads and usually lack claw marks uh, because they are retracted. Here you can see my foot next to a puma paw prints in Petrified Forest National Park.
Uh, the puma came in the vicinity of our tent uh, during the night, but did not bother us.